Hello, PHP ladies. We're here for another edition, and we have yours truly, one of my favorites, the leader of EOW, Miss Brittany Williams. Brittany, say hi to everybody. Hello, PHP ladies. I am so excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sheena, for this opportunity. I'm so humbled, so honored to be here. And can I just say you look gorgeous, like beautiful. Patrick is so lucky. You look gorgeous. So thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Well, we are going to let the ladies get to know you a little bit more. I know you uh, very well being able to spend time with you here in Dallas. You come from a great lineage. Your uplines, Jasmine and Ella Suazo, you guys just crossed over 250. And I have a feeling this is just the beginning. So I want everyone to know a little bit more about you. Why don't you kind of speak to um, where you were born and raised, um, how you grew up, what led you to PHP? We'd love to hear it. Well, uh, I'm from a small town in Mississippi called Edwards, okay? It's right outside of Jackson, Mississippi. And when I say small, I mean literally four stop signs, you blink, you out of the town, right? Um, but I, in high school, was an honor student on the dance team, um, had a small circle of friends. Um, but after graduation, I moved to Louisiana to attend college, uh, majored in accounting, got my master's, got my bachelor's, and then stayed living in Louisiana for about 10, 11 years before the business was introduced to us and we moved to Dallas. Uh, so I always do a summary saying, hey, I'm Mississippi born and raised, Louisiana made me, but now I'm Texas paid, right? No. <laughs> uh, so that's the summary, but uh, the business was introduced to us by a friend we went to college um, with. And it's crazy because growing up, I thought I was going to be a teacher, Sheena. Um, wow. I've always been very structured, very organized. I used to make my little brother play as my student, but I thought I was going to be a teacher. And I switched once I got older because the example of like the money blueprint I had came from one of my aunts. Uh, she moved from Mississippi, she graduated, she lived in the best neighborhood, she had the nice cars, both her and her husband were six-figure earners, and her occupation was a CPA. So once I seen that, I was like, okay, I'm going to follow her footsteps, I'm getting in accounting. And that was my major in college, got in accounting, graduated and started working in corporate before this opportunity was presented to me. Wow. And I remember when we um, met um, Jasmine and Ellis hosting an event. You guys came up to Chicago. It's when I met you and Kendrick for the very first time. And I re specifically remember talking to Jasmine and we were sharing um, kind of notes on you guys. We're like, I think this couple's really special. And then mm -hmm. you guys have climbed up the ranks and it's been really impressive. Um, and I remember telling Jasmine during that time you guys were up in Chicago, I was like, I don't know what it is about this couple. There's something special about it. Um, and we had, me and Jasmine had our eyes set on you um, because we knew that much like uh, Jasmine, much like myself, um, who had spouses in the business, we were just really trying to figure out uh, our identity. And we knew seeing so much of us in you were like, oh man, once she sees this, it's gonna be game over. So talk to people when that light bulb moment came that you were kind of that supportive spouse, but then you started to get really into it and what made you get really into it? Yes, 100%. So uh, I definitely wasn't 100% on board when I joined this business. Uh, Kendrick started, he saw the vision immediately and it was game over for him. And I was told him, okay, I'm gonna support you. Uh, we'll see where this goes. Um, Cause my first hesitation was, I was, I'm an introvert, so I didn't like talking to people. And then I was hesitant in regards to, okay, is this sales? Because I'm the type of person, if I ask you for something more than twice, I feel like I'm begging. So I was like, no, I don't want sales. Uh, but the more I came around, I saw that, okay, you, Brittany, you have to get out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to talk to people. That's where the most growth happens when you're out of your comfort zone. And then this not selling is educating. What we're doing is talking about things that a lot of people need to hear about. So that was the first initial part. And then the additional drive came from being around ladies like my mentor, Coach Jasmine Swazo. It came from being around ladies like you, Sheena Zapala, uh, in regards to just pushing me to the next best version of me and realizing what this opportunity could do for me and my family. So if my husband was sold out in regards to what this can do and he was excited, who am I to say, okay, no, let's shoot this dream down and let's not go for it. So the pivotal moment for me was, it was an event that we attended in Florida and I felt like I was breaking and I just knew it the whole event because I was still working full time, I had a very busy schedule with my kids. 
uh, was starting doing little pieces here and there with the business. And I felt like it was just so much on me. It was like, okay, I'm trying to be everybody else anchor and not realizing that I'm sinking. And I pulled Jasmine to the side and I had a conversation with her. And that conversation just was that switch because she told me, Brittany, everything that you're going through is preparing you for what you asked for. Because you ask to not live check to check. You ask to be able to travel the world. You ask to be able to make sure your kids do not have any wants or needs. Like you ask to want to be able to retire your family. So do know that this is all supposed to be happening to you. Like you're at a moment where it's going to take work. You're being stretched. You're being challenged. Go out and accept it because a greater capacity is coming. And since then, it's just like, okay, it's go time. Let's get it. Oh, it's so crazy that you say that, how important it is to have a mentor that's not only in the game, but they have that wisdom to really pour into you. Cause that was the pivotal mm -hmm. moment having that discussion. So when Jasmine talked mm -hmm. to you about it, you're like, okay, game on, let's go. Game on, game on, and let's get the, it. Honestly, the most memorable thing that I cannot get out of my mind is when uh, you really described, you know, that moment when um, your job, you were transitioning and you were like, man, can I really do this business? And you're like, wait a minute, the income that we just made and then you compare it to your paycheck you're like no i really can do it can you tell people about that moment that you were like ah this can work yes yes so i was employed with the bank i won't say their name but they didn't want me to chase my dreams right but was employed with them for over 11 years and uh when this was first presented to me uh, I literally, I didn't see the potential of the income that could be made. It was like, maybe this would be a little extra nail money. Like, I'm not sure. Uh, and we came in, our very first check, We, I literally made more than what I was bringing home in my 40 hour work week from helping one family. So at that moment I knew, hey, the math is not mapping. I need to put more focus here. And to know with that job experience that the job wanted to put a stop on me from doing this business. I, uh, the compliance officer reached out to me telling me I can't be affiliated with PHP, can't support it in any form or fashion. And that was the extra push I needed too, because it showed me that you were trying to control me. It's one thing to tell me what I can and can't do, but then to tell me who I can and can't support was something totally different. Mm -hmm. So I immediately start putting more focus here in regards to helping Kendrick with this and a couple months later, uh, my entire department got on a Zoom call, five minute Zoom call due to job layoffs and let the entire department go. So I immediately thought what would have happened to me if I would have let that job stop me, if I would have stayed there and stayed put and didn't go out to pursue my own dreams. So it's like, it's just a blessing. And I have to pinch myself all the time thinking, okay, what this job was trying to put a cap on me at like i literally made my annual income and chase within one month here at php and it's i'll just tell you that you made your annual income uh in one month here taking this license and serving families and that really uh goes into what i want to hear from you which is what we always talk about the impact we have sitting across that kitchen table and mm. you've had that chance to sit with families, sit with um, an individual that you're training up um, as a newly licensed agent. Kind of walk people through that those moments of purpose-driven reason why you really enjoy doing this. Oh my God, yes. It's crazy because when we first start, yes, you immediately come in, you're thinking about the profit, but it, it's gonna switch to your passion, to your purpose. Where it went from my head to my heart was when we sat down with the client and she was re getting ready to retire. She was so excited talking about, you know, the plan she had in place, uh, but she only owned insurance through her job. So she wanted to sit down and own her own policy of her own. We sat down with her, got her covered. She got approved. About three months later, she reached out to us and said that she had went to the hospital because she was having uh, allergies was messing with her. They told her she had a sinus infection and they sent her home. A month later, she was still having problems. She went back to the hospital and she got diagnosed with nasal and neck cancer. But because we sat down with her, because we properly uh, got her something that was for her and her family, she was able to pull a claim from her living benefits where the company accelerated her $80,000. Wow. So she didn't have the financial burden of worrying in regards to how I'm going to pay my bills, how I'm going to you know, still take care of things. 
and to know the relief that we were able to provide her from that it was like okay you know this what we're doing has a greater purpose like we're literally helping people protect their legacies protect their income and it's just knowing that she's still fighting at the moment but she's going to beat it but knowing that she don't have that financial burden it was just everything and it really just had a gave a deeper purpose in regards to what it is that we do oh wow that's powerful i hope everyone listens to that story and in those moments just constantly remind yourself the job's not done because every household needs an individual that represents this industry and that's the only way to really truly help the communities and that story is probably going to be not the first but many that are going to come your way especially with the level of success that you guys are experiencing because you're all about training and developing people now i'm going to have some fun i put some uh, rapid fire fun questions together for you So we're going to see um, how you respond so people can get to know you better. All right. Ready? Ready. So Monica or Brandy? Mm, Monica. Ooh. Okay. (laughs) Mariah Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston? Whitney Houston. Ooh. Okay. Um, Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Starbucks all day. Okay. Um, What is the, what is your favorite movie genre? Uh, I, I like comedy. I'm a comedy person. I pick comedy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, favorite color? Uh, rose gold. Ooh, not even just gold. It's rose gold. Rose gold. It has to be that. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Which genre of music is better? 90s hip hop and R&B or early 2000s hip hop and R&B? Oh my God. 90s all day. What PHP trip or trips have you been on so far? Uh, so we went on Hawaii and Bahamas. So we qualified to go to Hawaii when we were non MDs. And actually, Sheena, that was the first trip that my kids went on, uh, as far as their first flight experience was to Hawaii. Wow. Uh, and then the second was to Bahamas, uh, which we enjoy. Like I love PHP trips because they are always first class, the best of the best. You build relationships with our colleagues. So I love PHP trips and the fact that a company will recognize you with travel in such a manner. I love that. I love it. Well, my last rapid fire question is a very simple one. Tell everybody what your team name stands for, EOW. Oh my God. So uh, EOW stands for Essence of Wealth. Uh, And we were so passionate in regards to when we got that name. because we wanted to uh, to have wealth in it because we know that was our whole purpose, but the essence of it and what it stands for. And even with our chant that we do, we say EOW versus everybody. We want people to know what that stands for too in regards to, hey, we're competitors. So it's EOW versus our competitors, but also EOW versus limited mindsets, EOW versus poverty, you know, EOW versus anything that's not gonna get us to that next level. And, you know, we finish our chant with God did because we know we're nothing without him he is and we don't take any credit for it all so yeah essence of wealth is what eow stands for i love it i love it well uh Brittany williams i had a joy spending some time with you i know the ladies got to know you a little bit more um so why don't you before we are end our segment for today tell people the direction future wise of eow and where you guys see this going uh, so EOW definitely we planned uh, we're going to be vice presidents of the company uh, locked in and focused in regards to knocking out 500,000 uh, before big event our next com- uh, company conference uh, have some new marketing directors that we are very very excited about increase our bus and seats and want to continue to flag carry for our organization the Wealth Academy as well as Money Smart Movement and the Dallas office uh, so we're not here to play small and we're just excited about what's to come I love it. I love it. Well, I'm excited for you guys' organization. Uh, Keep doing what you're doing. And for all the ladies out there on the call today, um, I hope that you make it a point uh, to earn your spot being interviewed because there's a tremendous amount of stories that we love to hear. And we were honored and privileged today to get to hear from Brittany Williams, leader of EOW, alongside her husband, Kendrick Williams. Thank you, guys. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you.